me just get, get this going here. I'm just gonna tweet this out. Ba -ba -da boom, ba -da boom, ba -da boom. I'm gonna tweet the followers. Okay, good. Um, just gonna give a few seconds. How's everybody doing today? That good. Um, all right. There we go. We got some hearts. Good. Awesome. Where are you tuning in from? Good day off. How come you had a day off? Okay. Oregon. Sweet. I'm going back to Oregon this summer. Iowa. Awesome. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, okay. So everyone, welcome to the scope vlog. My name is Joey Fight. I am the founder of the um, and I'm a phys ed teacher here in Montreal, Canada. I teach at St. George's School of Montreal. And the scope vlog is my daily vlog where I reflect, I share, and I just kind of think out loud about my teaching. Um, so this episode here is a little bit different because in this one here is going to be the start for a new format that I'm going to be using for the scope vlog. Now in the past what I would do is just at the end of the day I would sit down and I would just start talking into the camera. Uh, and it was a blast, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I would ramble on for a really, really long time. Um, and there was no real direction to it, I was just kind of talking about all kinds of things. Uh, but I want to give scope vlog a little bit more of um, a sense of purpose, I guess. So that being said, that there's, that's one thing. The second thing is the fact that I found that the scope vlogs were going on for way too long. Uh, you know, nobody, I, nobody wants to listen to me talk for 40 minutes. So uh, every day. Um, so they're going on for way too long. So I'm deciding was to change the format up so that they're a little bit shorter, a little bit more compact with more uh, kind of meat to each episode. And the third big change here is the fact that I'm going to be saving these um, on YouTube. So in the past I was using catch.me, but if you, hey Nathan, um, if you view, if you ever used catch.me or anything like that to save your Periscope or your Meerkat streams, uh, you'll know that catch is shutting down, uh, which is sad for catch. But to be honest, I wasn't totally into the, the uh, platform because first of all, I found it really glitchy and I also found that it, it didn't really bring any extra value except for the fact that it was saving the streams. Uh, I can add comments to it. We can have any conversation about anything we are talking about. I can add any links to the episodes. Um, so it's a bit of a pain in the butt. So from now on, you'll actually be finding these replays on uh, my YouTube channel. So youtube.com slash the physical educator. Uh, all the scope vlogs will be uh, archived there and you'll be able to find them all in one scope vlog kind of um, playlist. Uh, so that's the third big change and the fourth big change is that when I was talking earlier about giving it a sense of purpose From now on what I'm going to be doing is each day of the week is going to have a different theme So today being Monday today's theme is Weekly intentions. So on Mondays I'm going to talk about what I have coming up that week What my intentions are for that week that doesn't necessarily mean what I'm actually going to get done that week um, but it is what I'm intending to do. So that be it in my teaching, be it work with the website, uh, be it anything I'm trying to create, that's kind of what I'll be sharing on Mondays. And again, I'll be sharing these in kind of 10 to 12 minute blocks. On Tuesdays, Tuesdays are gonna be Tech Talk Tuesdays where I try and share something that I'm using, um, some kind of technological tool that I'm using in my teaching. Be it something radically new that I've been testing out and playing around with, or something I've been using for a long time that I just never really took the time to talk about, or maybe it is something that I've talked about in the past on the blog, um, but that I kind of want to go back and review and share with people who might not have been digging that deep into the website. So that's what I'll be doing on Tuesdays for Tech Talk Tuesdays. Wednesdays are all going to be about readings and reviews. So I really want to push myself. One of my goals here this year is I want to be more up to date with the literature. I want to know what's going on in, in research around the world in physical education and in general education. So I want to force myself to do some more academic reading. Uh, so I can get more familiar with what's going on and on Wednesdays what I'll be doing is I'll be sharing some of that the findings I've, I've come up with from that research um, and that reading with you. So I'll be going over some of the literature that I've been going through, kind of sharing my thoughts, my opinions and also most likely sharing a lot of questions because there's a lot of stuff that I'm reading that I don't necessarily understand and I'm not fully sure what the impact can be on my teaching. So that's on Wednesdays is going to be reading and review. Thursdays is about big ideas. So on Thursdays, I'll really be working hard to share some of the big ideas that I implement to my teaching. Uh, they might be old, tried, tested, and true ideas, or they might be brand new ideas I'm working out. But whatever it may be, hopefully Thursday is going to be that big actionable day where you'll leave the vlog with something that you can bring into your teaching. Uh, so think of it as like a little mini like 10 minute webinar or 10 minute workshop. So that's my intentions for Thursdays. And then finally, <laughs> Finally is Fridays is my weekly reflection. 
Um, free, freebie prize, I wish. <laughs> um, on Fridays, I'll be reflecting on my week, talking about the highs, talking about the lows, talking about places where I thought I really did a great job, places where I thought there were missed opportunities, um, talking about how I'm going to try and grow week to week as I move forward throughout my teaching. Uh, so the big idea there is to be as honest as possible. You know, if I sucked one week, if it was just terrible teacher for a week, or even just for one lesson, I want to make sure I'm sharing that with you. And also being very um, transparent as to like, you know, like my unique teaching situation, the fact that I'm in a private school, I have smaller group sizes, I have more access to, to resources and funds and those types of things, kind of letting you know why I was I was able to accomplish or not accomplish the things that I tried to set up to do that week. So that'll be Friday. So again, Mondays, all about the, my weekly intentions. Tuesdays, we'll be talking tech. Wednesdays, I'll be going over any reading I've been doing. Thursdays, sharing some big ideas, little mini webinars. And then finally, Friday, reflecting on the full uh, week. Um, and again, if you're just tuning in here halfway, all of these scope vlogs from here on out will be archived on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the physical educator. And you'll be able to check them out where I'll put tons of links. Anything I talk about, I'll be throwing the links in there. I'm also editing the videos a little bit so that I can put some screenshots and those types of things in there, making it a lot easier for you to connect with things uh, that I talk about in the vlog. Thank you so much for all the hearts. I really like them. Um, so that being said, let's get right into my weekly intentions for this week. So this week is an awesome week. I'm really pumped up. Um, because to be honest, I'm really ahead of schedule on a lot of things that I've been trying to do in my teaching. Uh, in the past, I've talked to you about my unit calendar, how I set out at the beginning of the year, breaking down all of the grade level outcomes, plan mapping them out throughout the year, breaking or organizing them into units, mapping those units out throughout the year. And I finally feel I'm really happy about this going into May, that I'm up to date with everything I want to be achieving with my students. There are a few outcomes per grades I'm still, uh, still a little behind on. Uh, but I'm on track, uh, which is a great, great feeling as a teacher feeling that I'm not stressing out, especially because May is such a crazy month. I don't know about you at your school, uh, but at my school, there are just a ton of like field days and all kinds of stuff going on. So I feel like the kids miss out on a lot of phys ed. But that being said, here's what we got going on this week. So I teach grades one, two, three, and six. Uh, for grade one this week, like I was saying, I'm way ahead with my outcomes. The only outcomes I actually have left to cover for this year are uh, standard one outcomes related to volleying and striking. Um, so those are two skills that we have not seen yet this year uh, that we're going to be looking at over the next couple of weeks. But because I'm ahead and because I have all this extra time, what we're actually going to be doing this week in grade one is we're going to be going back over some of the skills um, and some of the, the, um, the big ideas that we covered early in the year that I feel like we didn't get de uh, deep enough into. Um, so for example, uh, when we were working on, um, our foot skills, I felt like, I feel like I have a lot of evidence for the kids dribbling with their feet, but I don't have a lot of evidence for the kids kicking. Uh, same thing can be said, uh, throwing, is, uh, throwing is fine, underhand, overhand, uh, throwing is great, catching is pretty good, um, dribbling with hands, I want to definitely go over that again. So a couple of the skills that we're going to be going over. Now the way that I'm selecting which skills we're going over, and I've already determined that this week we're going to be looking at foot skills is each one of my students has a student portfolio and we just went through portfolio there with the parents where I showed them all their portfolios. I have video evidence of every skill that we've seen so far this year. And some of the students either don't have any evidence or not that I don't have any evidence, but I have very little evidence. Um, and also some students I've noticed that when I was going back through those videos, they're not necessarily at the level where I want them to be. So this week's gonna be a lot of, a lot of station work, um, a lot of small sided games, focusing on specific skills. And I'm going to be working with the students, looking at the critical elements that they're currently hitting and the ones that they're missing and try and put focus to try and get kids up uh, to a level where they're going to be fully ready moving into grade two. But more importantly, where they're just able to perform these skills and feel confident performing these skills so they can go out and engage in activities outside of school and that kind of stuff. Um, so that's what I'm doing with grade one, just going back over those skills, uh, trying to complete the, the, the critical elements that we might be missing out on and updating their portfolios as we go through. By the way, just speaking quickly about the portfolios, it's so great when you have video from a kid performing a skill at the beginning of the year, video from a kid performing the same skill at the middle of the year, video from the end of the year, and you get to actually show the kid, their parents, everyone, the real progress that they made throughout the year. Portfolio Day was an awesome day for that game to show them, uh, sh share that with the parents and gain to see that like there is a lot of learning happening in physical education. Your, your child really is improving. Um, so lots of stuff going on with that. So that's what we got going on in grade one. 
with grade two, um, grade two is going to be foot skills. Uh, so we haven't talked to, um, per grade, in my grade one class, I have 24 kids. Yes, that's it. 24 kids in grade one. Uh, I actually teach grade four and five. Um, I'd, lo I'd love to do that with grade four and five, but I'm not there. But also when you look at the outcomes, the sequence is different. The, the level that they're performing those skills is, is very, the outcomes associated with those skills are very different in grades four and five. Um, and I think for some of these skills, they're just uh, working on applying the skill in different settings. So for grade two, we're looking at foot skills. Um, we're gonna be working on dribbling feet and kicking a ball uh, using a continuous moving action or forward moving action. Basically kicking a, a moving ball is what you're looking for, looking for three of the five critical elements. Um, so we'll be working on that over the next couple of weeks, actually next couple of weeks, this week and next week. And um, really looking forward. It's also gonna be a really good opportunity to talk about um, soccer rules because we have a lot of issues with recess soccer in that grade. Uh, so we're gonna be going over some of that and applying the skill, try hopefully making everybody a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more confident with those skills. And um, talking a lot about personal and social responsibility outcomes as we go through talking about what makes for a good game and respecting others and following the rules of a game when teachers aren't necessarily always watching you. So that's what we're going in grade two. Big, big idea here is foot skills. Grade three is kind of a crazy week we got ahead. And here's why. First of all, we're kind of in the middle of a benefits of physical activity unit where we're talking about challenge, we're talking about enjoying um, uh, physical activity for the social interaction with others, uh, and those 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 types of unit, those types of outcomes there. Now, even though we've been talking we've been talking about linking health to physical activity and seeing physical activity as part of being healthy, uh, we're going to be taking a step back because, and I don't want to reveal too much because I'm going to be talking about it later on this week. Uh, but I have a really cool thing going on with the school outside of Boston. And if everything works well, we're doing this big international collaboration between our two schools and it's involving my grade three students. So I'm actually really pumped that they're going to get to be a part of that. Um, oh shoot, I just realized that notifications are going to appear on this replay. Anyways, um, so I'm really pumped that my grade three students are going to be involved with that. Uh, aside from that, we're going to be going running. So right now, all the whole school is training for our Halo Road Race, which is a big cross-country race. Um, but we're going to be talking about running as part of uh, training the body to uh, trying to improve health, but also going out and running for enjoyment. And that's one of the things that kid, a lot of kids still do not tie into running is that it can be a really fun, it can be a really social activity. Uh, so we're going to be doing some cross country running in class, uh, using pedometers and uh, measuring how engaged we are in class and how actively uh, we are participating in class. So that's what we got going on in grade three. One thing I do want to say, just talking about weekly intentions, for this whole unit, this um, this benefits of physical activity unit, uh, I really want to put together a booklet that's going to include instead of giving the sheet, the kids sheets or having them fill out Google Forms for their different assessments, have all that in this one booklet. My active life is what I'm calling it, and have the the kids fill out their booklets and then be able to keep that booklet at the end once I'm done and I've scanned it and give it back to them, so that they have all these things, all these reflections they've done because we're going to be reflecting a lot of the different activities we're doing and talking and thinking about, okay, how does this make me uh, enjoy physical activities? How does this make me, um, how does this help me be a healthier person? How does this help me in terms of social interactions? Those types of things. I want to try and get that all down in that booklet. I think that's really cool, like giving the kids kind of a takeaway resource that they can bring home and that will help them uh, remember uh, the real why behind being active and healthy. So that's what we got going on in grade three. And finally, my grade six students, we just wrapped up the targets game unit. I talked about that yesterday in the vlog. Um, there's gonna be a link at the end of the replay if you're watching this on the replay uh, to yesterday's vlog. If not, you can check out the YouTube channel. Um, but this week we're getting into net and wall games. Now this is the second time we're gonna be looking at net and wall games and we're gonna be starting off looking at the underhand serve and the two arm, uh, two -arm uh, strike uh, or for in mini volleyball. Now, hopefully the weather stays nice because my gym is very small and very low. Uh, so it doesn't really, it's not really conducive to volleyball. There's a lot of bouncing off the ceiling that happens when you try and play. So hopefully everything will go well. I have these awesome pop-up nets that we can use outside. Not volleyball high, obviously, but we can still use them. And we're going to be playing some mini volleyball. So by mini volleyball, what I mean is that um, it's an underhand serve, but the first contact from the air team is a caught contact toss it up, set the ball, send the ball back over. 
we're going to be working on different uh, on different game situations and different types of uh, progressions up to that kind of game uh, throughout the couple the next couple of lessons. Uh, but the big idea here is working on those two main skills: the underhand serve and the two arm. Um, why am I having such a hard time? The forearm pass uh, that we'll be looking at. Students, if everything goes according to plan here, obviously I'll be assessing the students using video, I'll be using my numbers grade book, but I also want the students assessing themselves. I'm trying to get coaches I installed on a bunch of the iPads, so you'll find that on Friday if I was able to get that, uh, get that done. Uh, but I want students to be videotaping themselves using coaches I, breaking the skill down, giving each other feedback, and moving forward based off of uh, their performance. So that's my week. That's my week that I got going on. I got a whole bunch of other things going on too. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm giving a gender development talk to the grade five uh, boys at my school. Um, some people would call it sex ed. At my school, we call it gender development. But really, we're looking at relationships. Tomorrow, we'll be talking really about relationships, um, especially with that class. Uh, there's a lot of confrontations that happen in that class. So I think relationships might be a really good way to start to start those talks off. And um, we've got all kinds of other things going on. Alex and I, Alex, my teaching partner, uh, next week we're going to be launching Health Month or Wellness Month, I mean. Uh, so that's going to be a month-long series of activities, um, all based around different themes related to health. Uh, we have all kinds of stuff going on. We have a staff pedometer challenge. We have a whole school of walking challenge. We have special guests coming in. Um, we have special active assemblies. All kinds of things that we got going on. So there's a lot of planning involved in that. Um, a lot of resources that we got built out, but we're making really good progress on it. So I'm sure it's going to be a successful month. And aside from that, just got all kinds of crazy stuff going on in terms of intramurals. We still have our mat ball intramural is, our seasons wrapping up, but we also have started a three on three basketball intramural league at the school, which has been absolutely fantastic. It's been so much fun. Um, I'll tell you more about it on Friday with the power ball rule. It's been super sick. And uh, we have our cross country, our cross country team that's still training for the halo race. And we just finished tonight. We finished up our flag football practice. Um, it's the first year ever that we have a flag football team at the elementary school, so we're pretty fired up about it. Uh, we got a couple games coming up in two weeks, and uh, yeah, and that's it. Uh, so that's that's my week. That's what everything I'm intending to do. I think the challenge, most challenging part is going to be that special activity with the grade threes, creating the My Active booklet, and getting those iPads set up and getting the kids used to using Coach's Eye. Um, with themselves, usually they just kind of use video feedback, or if they are using Coach's Eye, they're using it with my, my iPad. Uh, but I want to have it going out in multiple areas so that we can get some really good feedback going uh, some, and some uh, hopefully a lot of really qual high quality peer coaching. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you're watching here live, I'm going to try and do this consistently between 6 and 7 p.m. every weeknight, uh, 6 and 7 p.m. Eastern. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to check out the comments below because I'm putting all kinds of links to all the stuff that I'm talking about in here. Um, and yeah, I hope you had a fantastic Monday. I saw somebody said before that they had a Monday off, so that's a good feeling. But if you're teaching today, I hope your teaching went great. I hope your students were learning a lot. I hope you're not feeling too tired at the end of the day and that you're ready to kill it tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, thanks so much for tuning in, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.